guys. Thank you for joining me again today. As you can see behind me, I actually just got home. <laughs> I was running a bit too late today to film an intro, so I thought I'll do that now. I will show you my outfit. I'm wearing my Van Cleef Sweet Butterfly Necklace and the Celine t-shirt I got last year. Yeah, it's been maybe a year since I got this t-shirt, so now the weather is finally getting warmer again. So I can pull out all my summer stuff and then I have Hermes, Ferrandol, earrings. I love these earrings. And also my mini 22. This is the one from 23B. <laughs> my SA really loved the little pearl strap that I added onto the mini 22. She says it looks so pretty with the pearl. Keep going with the outfit. We have the Chanel belt. These are frame jeans and then on my feet i have the chanel sling bags these are the logo ones from 23p i think i love them they're so comfortable <laughs> and i did end up wearing the chanel jacket because in the morning it was quite cold and then i'll show you what's in my bag <laughs> Because we're going LV, I wanted to bring my limited edition Louis Vuitton Christmas animation from last year. This is from 2022. Yes, yeah, so this is the sole card holder. And then I also took with me <laughs> the Paris key pouch. So this one is so cute. Definitely one of my favorite designs. Vivienne is just always so cute, right? Uh, and then I have my key holder in there, which I took out when I got home. And then I have still been loving this Dior lip gloss. I've been wearing this nonstop. Just realized I completely forgot to put on my jewelry this morning when I left because I left in a hurry. So today, basically, I actually wanted to go Louis Vuitton to check out the Christmas collection. I thought today was launch, but no, it's actually on Friday. So we're two days away from launch. My essay was so nice. He showed me the pieces first. They are so, so cute. I will definitely be ordering something. <laughs> so keep watching if you want to see the limited edition Christmas animation. Are you guys going to get anything? I think when I showed you guys on my Instagram stories, only about 30% or so of you said you want something from that collection. The rest of you said it's overpriced. <laughs> I think it's overpriced too, but I have a soft spot for Vivienne. I cannot resist. And then I wanted to go try on the camera box. Is it called the camera box? I think it's, yeah, camera box. And then I messaged my Chanel essay and she had an appointment available today. So I thought I may just head into Chanel as well and see if they have any new pieces I can show you guys. And I stumbled across this gorgeous tweed bag. Oh my God. I, like I came so close to buying that bag because... I just think it's the prettiest, most unique design. Just so beautiful. If I'm still thinking about it in, you know, a few days, I can go back next week to grab it. <laughs> uh, that seems to be the trend with me lately. I can't make up my mind. And because the prices are so high, I don't want to make a mistake. I really need you guys to help me, okay? So watch the vlog and then let me know if you guys think I should get the tweed box bag or the Louis Vuitton camera box. <laughs> They're both boxy with top handle. So I think I only need one in my collection, right? I don't really want to buy two bags. It is close to Christmas, so I can kind of justify buying another bag. But yeah, I don't want to go overboard. As you can see behind me, <laughs> we did go into Hermes today as well. I'll show you guys everything I got in a separate unboxing video. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this shopping vlog. I'll see you guys at the shop. Let's go shopping. Isn't this just the most dreamy tweed jacket? It is a wool tweed. You can detach the camellia flowers and wear them separately as brooches. Will you just look at these buttons? Oh my gosh, I am in love. 
and this is the tweed box bag the model was carrying in the 23k fashion show i was actually after the pink and white tweed combo but my essay just informed me that one is not coming in she said they may be a leather version but i believe that one would be patent so yeah i'm not after another patent bag so this is my only option for the box bag this color is quite nice in person because of the black it tones down the bag so i feel like it should be quite easy to match with outfits the strap is also the perfect length for crossbody what do you guys think? I love the way it opens. It has two gussets on the side and it has a little mirror inside. The capacity is really amazing. The foam fits inside, no issues. And there is heaps of room for all your other essentials. I also love how the handle is quite thin and dainty, which makes the bag look a lot more elegant. And you can even dress this up for evening. And get this, it has little feet on the bottom and they're all engraved such a nice detail it's priced at 8720 that's quite expensive for a tweed bag it's just so beautiful Gorgeous. and the camellia buttons are amazing yeah like it sticks out but this actually i really like what they did with the flap closure because this way you can tuck the strap in and it doesn't damage the side of the bag all the details is just amazing on it so i am still considering <laughs> the price is a little bit hard to swallow just because it is a seasonal bag as well as it's not leather my essay also showed me this tweed mini flap this one looks quite special it's a little bit fluffy <laughs> and it has sequins throughout and i do really like how it's black and white with pink in there it is a stunning combination however after trying it on i realized it's a little bit too busy to work with a lot of outfits the sequins are so pretty though they sparkle just the right amount normally chanel sequin bags are quite pricey but this one is actually cheaper than the tweed box bag i think my essay said it was 8170 now let's look at the camellia tweed bag this little mini rectangular is also very special because of the camellia flower on on the front love that it is a magnetic closure this one is also 8720 australian dollars which one do you guys prefer this one or the tweed box bag this tweed feels very durable it's very tightly woven if you're worried about maintaining the tweed this one might be a better option and i love how it has little charms on the chain and these little charms are very pretty they're not like um, you know a few seasons ago where the charms really banged together and made a lot of noise <laughs> these charms are a lot smaller and in champagne gold hardware very beautiful which tweed bag is your favorite let me know below also just bear in mind that the strap cannot be shortened like with other mini rectangular flat bags the chain at the top is fixed and cannot retract into the bag i was so surprised to see there was a kelly bag on display although it is in jersey fabric it's very lightweight and smaller than i thought this color is a little bit too pink <laughs> very barbie it does fit a large size iphone the leather versions are definitely better and i think the black looks a bit more elegant than the pink ones what are your thoughts on the chanel kelly bag or i think they're called the mini shopping bag the hardware is also quite yellow don't you guys think here is another runway piece i'm not quite sure about this bag <laughs> it's definitely a novelty bag the chain strap is quite unique but yes i don't think this one is worth the price what are your thoughts on the camellia bag from 23k i really like the zipper pull though look at this cc and it is actually quite roomy inside 
Now let's go Louis Vuitton and have a look at their new collections. So comfortable. No one seems to hold me like you do. I really wanted to try on the camera box because it looks so pretty. It has so many features of the Louis Vuitton trunks. Yes, <laughs> I was dying to try this one on. I thought maybe it would be hard to close the bag when empty, but as you can see here, it is very easy and it just clicks shut. I like how this bag also comes with a shorter gold chain. It gives the bag a little bit more versatility. I feel like they should have either made the gold chain a little bit shorter just so that, you know, it's more decorative and you can use it as a handheld strap. I find this length a little bit awkward because it's a bit long to just be hanging there and a little bit too short to have it on your shoulder. Especially if you are wearing a thicker jacket like I am here, it doesn't sit super comfortably under your arm. It's not a deal breaker or anything, just something to keep in mind. This bag definitely looks better either handheld or crossbody. The metal corners are so gorgeous, but every time you sit this bag down, it will scratch. <laughs> so this is a bag that will definitely show wear and tear. The more you wear it, the more scratches you will get. Has this one being popular? Yes. Yeah. I do personally prefer the camera box to the side trunk. Even though the side trunk can fit more things, it also feels a lot more bulkier and heavier. It just feels like it protrudes out too much from the body. Whereas the camera box, it is still very slim and feels more comfortable when you're wearing your crossbody, not as rigid. I also did try the Monoglam collection a few months back, but because it's a laminated camera, Canvas, it's even more rigid. <laughs> so this bag is definitely better in normal monogram or calfskin leather. My essay also showed me the hard-sided camera box. This is such a gorgeous collector's item. Because it's made out of wood, it is a very heavy bag. This is more a display piece than something that you would want to wear oh, okay. today. Yeah, so you can actually lock the... Oh, you can lock the front. Yeah, lock the front. So, this is the petite valise. Yeah. But this is like more portable. Yeah, you can. Yeah. It's more functional. You can use it for events. Yeah. You can still keep it up and display as well. Same goes with the camera box too. Yeah. These two hard-sided bags are the same price. They are 14,400 Australian dollars. This one looks like a mini suitcase. Which one do you guys prefer? You can organize it. You can organize, yeah. Yeah, but has the compartment. If you're not planning to carry that much, like the camera box is organized. Yeah. Because the piece is already heavy enough. Isn't it? Like yeah, you know, correct. You still have a lot more space for, for your phone to fit in there. Like, yeah. the keys, they can't, they can't fit in size but, but lengthways, lengthways. Yeah. it's perfectly fine. And then you have a lot more space for like other bits Other and things, and yeah. There. Very spacious. Yeah. Now let's have a look at the Vivian Holiday Collection. Oh my god, I am obsessed with this Nano Speedy. Little Vivian ice skating is honestly the most adorable thing I have ever seen. I will try it on in a little bit. This is the key pouch. The sailing print has not come in yet, so my essay was only able to show me this one. Here is the mini pochette. The image is definitely better on the mini pochette because the print on the bottom is not being cut off like it is on the key pouch. The pink lining inside the Nano Speedy is so cute. I just wish the mini pushets are not so expensive. They are $1,220 in Australia. Paying that much for a small SLG that's not even leather. <laughs> 
I'm not sure if I can do it. You can see them against my key pouch and card holder from last year's holiday collection. I'm in the changing room now. Just wanted to try on some Louis Vuitton t-shirts. The chain detail is so nice. This gets me every single time. Look at the gold flower on the collar and it has an interesting side strap detail. This t-shirt is one of their new releases. It's from the latest Flight Mode collection. And this one, I believe they've had it for some time. I really like this black t-shirt because the print, as you guys can see, is actually mirrored. <laughs> so perfect for mirror selfies. Okay, let's try everything on. This is how the black t-shirt looks like on. As you can see, it fits really nicely. And honestly, the price is not too bad for a designer t-shirt because I think, you know, with the added chain detail, it looks a lot more expensive. <laughs> this would be a super easy piece to style because of the chain. You can dress this up if you wanted to. I wish the chain was gold because most of LV bags, they are all in gold hardware. This label has fallen off. <laughs> The size I tried on was the extra small. Next, I tried on the flight mode t-shirt. I really love the 3D design of the motifs. It's a bit more interesting with the different sized monogram print on the sleeves. This one is 1,940, so a fair bit more than the black t-shirt. I thought the print would look too busy, but it actually works really well because it is in a more graphic design. Here are some of the other pieces from the flight mode collection. What do you guys think of this tie-dye shirt? Love the LV coats. They are reversible. This blue and grey combination is really beautiful. I just realised it goes with my bag. <laughs> right? Cute. Right, which one do you guys think looks better? This one or the black one? This monogram is a bit more faded, so it looks a little bit more subtle, I guess. I quite like this one as well. Oh my god, it's going to be such a hard decision. This one's nice too. My essay told me to try this jacket on because he said it's very cool as it is reversible. So on one side, you have the 3D Mahina monogram and then on the other side, there is actually a very cool cloud print. The details are amazing and this one is super lightweight. How cool is it? is just a very simple black t-shirt maybe a little bit too plain what do you guys think my essay got me the extra small size i think this size fits me a bit better love that it matches the mini 22 looks really nice with the camera box as well. What do you guys think? Should I risk buying another LV bag? <laughs> I really do love the look of this one. Really cute. Oh my god, Vivian figure skating. <laughs> it is so cute. This one is so tempting, especially because the inner lining is a gorgeous pink shade. My Nano Speedy still had the non-removable shoulder strap. The strap now is not only removable, but also adjustable, which is such a good upgrade. 
This is the Capucines Mini. I have tried this bag a few times. I really love this smaller size, but unfortunately it does not fit a large size iPhone. So I feel like for such an expensive bag, that is kind of a deal breaker for me. The next size up, the BB size, is a lot bigger. So I really wish my phone would fit into the mini size. So I love watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone gets so surprised when I can tie like bandos. What, because you're a guy? <laughs> yeah, because I'm a guy and like... So that's what some of the girls had to do this yeah. way. Yeah. They're, they're all like, oh my god, like every client I get, yeah. like, I'm going to ask you. Definitely bringing my bag to you next time. <laughs> Yeah, if you need anything tied up, just yeah. let me know. I can <laughs> do it for you. I actually tied it this way for my cocoa handle. Yeah. And I put like a little bow on the end. Oh, but yeah, nice. this is like a really nice like braiding effect. Yeah, Love I it. feel like the braid yeah. is, well, looks a lot nicer and a lot cleaner. A lot cleaner, yeah. Um, sometimes you can get... Yeah, makes it look casual too, so... How beautiful! This is why I love white bags so much. You can really change up the look depending on what twilly or bandeau you tie on the handle and it just gives the bag a whole new look. Yeah. Flimsy? Yeah, oh, yeah. Flimsy, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Like the more weight you put on it, like the more it digs into your shoulder. That's true. Yeah, this is very comfortable. I actually don't mind the wider strap. And I guess you can always switch the strap out for like a gold chain. Yeah, for a gold yeah. chain. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have a cup of scenes in your collection? Let me know. Yeah, something else you like? <laughs> Monogram. Mm -hmm. Reversible in black yeah. and the chain as well. Oh, there's a chain as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the new Petite Mal That's a braided chain. Yeah, which yeah. is another it's a nice. added touch. That's interesting <laughs> with, a, with a top handle. Because yeah. you're so used to seeing it without. Like, yeah, without, yeah. yeah. This is the first one we've released in top oh, handle. Oh, with a top handle. Yeah. What do you guys think of this new Petite Mile design? I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of the added handle. Usually I do really love any top handle bag to be honest, but I feel like the Petite Mile is not a bag that should have a handle. Sometimes the original design is just so classic why would you want to mess with it, right? It's sort of like that wave design capucines. Do you guys remember? I'll insert a clip if I can find it. It is the prettiest lilac color with mother of pearl hardware. It is so beautiful, but they ruined it with the wave design. So I don't know. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on these classics with a twist. I feel like the chain works best with it. Yeah. Some people do like the crossbody better. But... The chain is quite pretty. What are your thoughts on the Petite Mile Capitol? My pick will still have to be the camera box. The handle doesn't look out of place. It's much lighter and doesn't feel as boxy or bulky. It can work for more occasions and be easily dressed up or down. Just a much more functional bag in my opinion. Not to mention it's less than half the price of the Petite Mile Capital. How beautiful is this case? You can totally use this as an evening clutch. The metal trims are so gorgeous. I had a wander around while my essay was wrapping up my purchase. Lots of summer sandals. Revival meals. Oh, how nice are these flat mules? I 
think these ones are from LV by the Pool Collection. They just scream summer. The subtle monogram on these white sneakers look so nice. I actually don't own any LV shoes. Do you guys have any recommendations? Are they comfortable? Yeah, let me know because I am curious. I feel like they're very logo heavy, so that's why I haven't really, you know, ventured to LV shoes. I'm surprised they have so many different styles of sneakers. The Micro Dolphin. I've always really loved this bag and I can't remember when I actually went to the store and tried this bag on and I was debating whether I should get it but the price is just a little bit high for such a small bag. This is the new Dolphin. What do you guys think? A bit too bulky for my liking. This blouse is really sweet. Look at these buttons. How beautiful is this trunk? You can use them as coffee tables, but also for storage. My essay said the Louis Vuitton trunks have increased in price the most <laughs> and the fastest out of everything. I then headed over to Hermes, but since this vlog is already getting a bit too long, I will say goodbye to you guys here and we'll continue in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!